something that's wrong, then what's going to have to happen is I'm going to have to experience every single thing that went wrong in your life as a result of the teaching I just taught you. That's pretty powerful when you think about it, isn't it? Yeah. And that's that's exactly what karma is, the law of compensation. Yeah. So what's he doing? He's projecting onto them blame for every emotion that's inside of himself. Okay, so that's is he, not, it is, I've always just felt like that's just really not helpful because he doesn't move past that. He just stays... Yeah, and I'm not suggesting he moves past it intellectually. What I'm saying is what he needs to do is he needs to start allowing him... So what he's doing is he's staying in the state of blame. All right? Rather so, than being in And when you stay in a state of blame, you do not clear emotion. Right? Because blame is just another projection onto another person. So while everything he's saying may be true, right? And I'm not—I don't know whether it is or isn't. But if it, even if it is true, while he stays in a state of blaming them, he is not taking personal responsibility to release the emotion inside of himself. And if he does that, he is going to stay in that state for years. In fact, the spirits in the spirit world have stayed in that state for ten thousand years, in that state of blame. Right? So you, you can actually stay in that state, and it's not a very good state to stay in, and it's also a first fear, of hell, hellish state to stay in for, for a long, long time. What I'm suggesting is to say the truth, but not then to project the blame. So when I'm saying to you, all of you have emotional damage from your parents. All of you have emotional, I have emotional damage, all of you have emotional damage from your parents. Right? I'm not now suggesting that you go home and say and yell and scream at them because you all this emotional damage that they've caused you. What I'm saying is you need to recognise the truth. That emotional damage did come from that place and until you recognise the truth of that, you will not experience it. But that doesn't mean that you now need to blame them for the rest of your life. And I'm saying if you feel like blaming them, you are actually denying the emotional experience. Yeah, t totally. You need to feel you're responsible for your own feelings, not think it. But isn't that also like a level of maturity of the, the mind, which is a part of our spiritual body, not part of our soul? Um, it it rea in reality comes from uh, a, a, a soul feeling. So, so y how many of you believe that you're responsible for your emotions? Right. Okay. Well, I can tell you that the majority of you are liars right at this moment. But we're responsible for what we do with our emotions. Well, no, no. Let, me, let me go back. Why, why have I accused you of being a liar? The reason why is because right at this moment you are denying huge amounts of emotions within you. Now, if you felt, if you felt in your soul 100% responsible for all your emotions, you would already be not in a state of denial of those emotions. Does that make sense yeah. to you? Right? So the truth is actually that the majority of you feel that you're not responsible for your emotions and that somebody else is. And that's one of the blocks. You feel that in your heart. You feel like how and let's be honest, how many of you do how many of you have been abused as children? Like, yeah? Okay. Those of you who have been abused at children, how many of you, be, and be honest, how you really do feel blame, don't you? Like, anger, upset, blame about, you know, they did those things to me, I didn't deserve it, all those emotions, yeah? That's real, right? That's true. You will feel those emotions. The key now is to go deeper and say, all right, they created these emotions, but now they are inside of me. And who's the only person that has control of what's inside of me? It's me. And, that, and I need to feel that at some point. 
And the reason why many people who go to therapy for 10, 15, 20 years because of sexual abuse never get over their sexual abuse is because they do not do that. They do not take that personal responsibility for the emotion. I'm not saying for the events. I'm saying the emotion is now inside of you. If you don't let yourself open up that emotion, it cannot flow out of you. And that is not an intellectual state. That is an emotional state. It will certainly help you intellectually having the realisation. But emotionally, you need to have that realisation before the emotion will flow. So it, it, I've written some stuff. Um, uh, what did I call it? I think it was about divine repentance and forgiveness or whatever. And in there, I talk about a process of um, intellectual realisation compared to emotional realisation. And intellectual realisation certainly does help you get to emotions if you have the choice to do the emotional work. But intellectual realisation can also help you get far away from your emotion by denying it. It all depends on what your attention is. So I could say, I could say, my parents are now, like, I am responsible for emotion. I can say those words, but they mean nothing unless I feel them. Do, that makes sense, doesn't it? If I feel them, then I will take in that instant total responsibility. So how many of us are taking total responsibility for every emotion inside of ourselves right at this moment? <laughs> if I was, I'd probably already be at one with God, right? So, so if I had a longing for divine love in that process, I would already be at one with God if I was doing that. The truth is, if I'm not, then I can't be. Face the truth. I'm not taking full emotional responsibility. And it's okay, it's not a judgement. It's just a truth. It's just a reality. Don't be afraid of truth. If you're afraid of truth, you'll never get anywhere. <laughs> right? Allow the truth. The truth is, I am not taking full responsibility right now. I can talk about it all I like, but if I'm not feeling the emotion right now... So I said, before I began this today, I said, I'm blocked here and I'm blocked here. Did I not? Right? Why? Because I'm not taking full responsibility for this particular emotion. And it's going to come up, I can feel it coming up. And over the next few days, I'm going to take full responsibility and at that instant, I will feel it. 